Parishioners found a body in Notre Dame today. The wags are already calling him the penitent. I take it justice has been done? Not entirely. Sivert had an accomplice the night of Monsieur de la Serre's murder. He struck the killing blow. This raises troubling questions. What have you learned? He was working with a man called Le Roi des Tsunes. The King of Beggars? Are you sure? You know him. Of him. The beggars pay him tribute. The man himself is a ghost. We've sent three assassins after him. The first two found no trace. The third never returned. I can find him. Sivert met with one of his lieutenants. I owe it to the memory of Monsieur de la Serre to uncover the truth. Perhaps you can at that. You've proved yourself a true assassin today. And a true assassin must have the proper tools. So the concealed blade and the smoke bombs were just what you had on hand then? The Phantom Blade. A modest little update from the traditional assassin's blade. Where you're going, you may not wish to get too close to your enemies. Now then. Assassin, this council charges you to go to La Cour des Miracles. Find there the Templar agent, Le Roi des Thunes. Learn his secrets and bring him peace. Well, he was in the colonies a few years ago. Now that was ugly. Just keep one hand in your purse and you'll be fine. Hmm? Move back or I'll move you myself. Halt! Stop right there! Wadetsun's lieutenant, Matouche. Oh, I wouldn't do that. Look. <sighs> Lovely, no? The good folk of Paris give more money to crippled beggars than whole ones. Le Roi des Tunes sees in that a bit of trivia, an opportunity to motivate his less successful employees. That man has lost a foot. Now you can charge in there, cause a great disturbance, and send all the rats scurrying back to their holes. Or you can disappear into the swarm and follow the rats back to their king. Either way, that man has lost a foot. It's done. Take him to the clinic for a proper cauterization, then send him back to the street. Come on, up you get. I appreciate the advice. Not yet. Who are you, precisely? And why help me? <laughs> oh, I've had my eye on you for some time now, Arno. I feel it my sovereign duty to aid all those who suffered in cruelest bondage with me at the Bastille. And I have a vested interest in seeing the King of Rats caught in a trap. As to my name, I have the pleasure of being Donatien 
Alphonse François, Marquis de Sade. Do pay me a visit when you've tired of chasing vermin. Oh, he's left a lovely trail. <laughs> Good luck. Nights are getting cold again. You don't seem worried. I know where the chimneys are. What chimneys? The ones his grace had put in when he took over down below. Sleep on one of those, you'll be as warm as a babe in arms. Double time, lads. His grace isn't fond of tardiness. Hold closer. Don't touch me. Get back. Monsieur Latouche, still bringing medical care to the disenfranchised? Lord, I will come by the team. Rather sooner than you think, I'm sure. I see a drink maker. Do I know you? screams now lonely last and that was for an accounting error you're joking i thought he'd skimmed off the take or some such no nope. he misplaced a one in a ledger right double time it is <laughs> Get him inside, quickly. Something doesn't feel right. Uh, he's dead, sir. Then toss him in the gutter and get yourselves inside.
Patriot! What's the order of the unfortunate in bed six? All of them burned in the fire to kill this family. Burn job? Do you know how hard those are to get right without burning off the district to ash? Use a few drops of the strong acid. Lightning can't tell the difference. and I'll spare you your life. The carcoms! He's in the carcoms, but he filled church! Latouche, I expected a stronger spine than yours. What will your master say? Oh, God. Lord, help me. Piss off, you lot. Ah, c'est 
pas sûr qu'il t'écoute. That should smoke them out. Who the hell can I compete with? We Triple amputees and wounded veterans. Miss another tribute, and you'll be remembering your own brave service at Grunberg. <laughs> never survive. <laughs> <laughs> What's happened? The beggars. They're rioting all throughout the district. You men, with me. I've heard reliable reports that an assassin is nearby and that, that you are his intended target. The worm has grown a spine. Now he's a snake. Damn. It was only a matter of time I knew that much. This is far too soon. Oh, we, oui, my lord. The, the um, assassins are uh, well connected. But we have the advantage now, don't we? Muster the guard and lead the hunt for this assassin. Bring me his head. Dealing with uprisings among the 
Hold your positions, men. has brought me the most wonderful gift. I do hope you have something to compare. Diable. Tricky, tricky, assassin. My subjects have eyes everywhere, my lord. I offer their knowledge to the service of the Order. What knowledge could a king of the gutters offer us? The intrigues of rats. You may go. The intrigues of rats? Pompous fool, if I could lay my hands on him. My master would be pleased to arrange that. Brother. You're right, monsieur. Too much of the king's champagne. Sibir, come away! It's done. Delacer is dead, Grandmaster. Good. You're just in time for the commencement of my reign. Your reign? As long as there's a cour des miracles, we must have a roi des tunes. And since there seemed to be a vacancy, I stepped in. With remarkable speed, the body's not yet cold. 
I may have set things in motion a trifle early. Say, when you first arrived at La Cour des Miras, you used me. Your target is dead. We used one another. Quite a kingdom you've inherited. It is, isn't it? So, is justice served? Are the dead avenged? Is your soul soothed, all that rot? Rot is a fine description. Every time I think I'm getting close to the truth, it seems another layer of filth presents itself. <gasps> Conspiracy, intrigue, a rapidly thickening plot. Add some bestiality and a lecherous priest, and I say you have the beginnings of a beautiful novel. I'd settle for a solid lead. <laughs> so young, and yet so serious. Well, best of luck to you. You have, I trust, looked into this. Where did you get that? One of my newly loyal subjects brought it the steam, as it were. It's a curious piece. I know of only one silversmith who works metal like this. A blade of this make killed Monsieur de la Serre. I can only assume you knew this already. Why didn't you say? Well, where would man be if he never had to ask questions? If everything he could ever want to know was simply handed to him, he might no longer think to ask questions. Or he might accomplish a great deal more unburdened by ignorance. Perhaps. The smith's name is François Thomas Germain. You'll find his shop near Léal. Thank you. Bonne chance.